anyway, you're not interested in my stinky fingers. <laughs> slightly awkward this morning I've uh, I've come back down to Thornham Creek and it's now five o'clock and for the last hour there's been another photographer here as well and I don't really like vlogging in front of other people especially when it's so quiet because the sound just travels um, but you know just there there's a there's a jetty and I stood up there and I imaged kind of going down the creek here because that's where more of the colour was um, around about half past four this morning and I had my camera angled down because I really like these mud flats um, and I'm hoping they'll give off like a really kind of <laughs> kind of a kind of a muddy colour kind of like an orangey kind of yeah muddy colour really but I don't know I might get back to post and I might change it I don't know always looks different when you get it on the on the big screen now what I'm waiting for now is for the Sun well it's just coming up now actually well it's, it's well above the horizon um, I don't know if that's gonna pick that up it's well above the horizon but there's a band of cloud um, and it's just making its way past that that band of cloud now but I'm hoping to get some light on that fishing boat there because it did look a little bit dull this morning so in fact this could be the right time actually to get this shot so I'm going to go now and hopefully get this image Well, as soon as I started vlogging, the uh, the photographer came back again, which I don't blame him to be honest with you, because um, it's really quite interesting down there. There's a lot to shoot, and even though there was no colour in the sky, um, the light was really nice, and it was kind of lighting up the the boathouse and, and and the old fishing boat. So, um, and in fact, to be honest with you, it was actually quite nice just concentrating on the photography. No offence, but when I was down. Uh, on, like, on the on the shoreline my tripod got covered in mud and it's just that really kind of horrible oh and it absolutely stinks it really does so every time I extend the tripod my, my hands get absolutely covered anyway you're not interested in my stinky fingers <laughs> <laughs> right well I'm all done at this end at uh, the boathouse now because that sun is getting really high now and I'm going to lose that kind of orangey light, that nice kind of golden hour light and it's going to turn quite harsh. So uh, I'm, going to have a, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, that's the first thing and then I'm going to have a little walk down right to the end because obviously the tide's out and I noticed the other day there were some posts kind of just kind of sticking out um, of, the, of the kind of, well, it's not a river bank is it? sticking out the ground and um, yeah it might make an image it might not but there's only one way to find out let's get grab a coffee and then have a little look oh that's good coffee now I know blue skies are, are not great for photography but it's such another beautiful morning it really is and the time now is quarter to six 
Still got the rest of the day. But I don't know where to go. Apart from them few posts. Do I stay now and battle with a harsh light? Or do I go? I'll finish my coffee and I'll have a little think about it. Well, there's obviously the, the tree stumps and um, it might make an image, but not today, definitely not. Um, I mean, I know the tide kind of comes quite high up, up here. So I don't know if it was the tide was just, it was a high tide and then obviously just receding a little bit, there may be an image. If it was cloudy, possibly, but um, yeah, not today. Or is there a shot here? I've just thought actually, I had an old 600D that was just sitting on my shelf, just literally collecting dust. And I've just had that converted to infrared and I've not used it yet. So I wonder if this is the perfect opportunity to get the infrared camera out. The day may not be over. Right, well that's me all done at Thornham Creek. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a lovely morning. I think I've got some nice shots. I've no idea what that infrared shot looks like. Um, that'd be really interesting. I'm really interested to find out how that's gonna, how that's gonna come out actually. That might be the perfect solution for uh, middle of the day shots. Anyway, I'm gonna head off, try and find a calf, grab a bacon roll, because I need fattening up. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And uh, until the next video, see ya.